making his way to the ring. From Newcastle upon Tyne, this? England. Well, I think it's about to be a highlight reel. 194 pounds. The oh, WWE the referee needs to get control of this. Connects with the title. And let me tell you, that thing is heavy. Okay, guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about Brock Lesnar here. What, in your opinion, can the WWE Universe expect from him here? I'll put it out there, guys. I would be absolutely shocked if Brock Lesnar doesn't win this match. He's just too dominant a force to lose. Well, in the WWE, nobody cares about how close you came to greatness, just if you got there. We'll see if he has what it takes tonight. Brace for impact. Here it comes. The Beast Incarnate with it. With an F5. Bang. Here's his chance. Momentum is fully in the corner of Brock Lesnar now. When we talk about Brock Lesnar, we're talking about an animal. An animal who's dominated every level of competition he's ever entered. An animal who will tear an opponent to shreds until there's nothing left. Again! Hey, it seems to be working for him. He's taking a long... Oh, shows no mercy. in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Not where he wants to be right now. Yeah. Oh, he's really taking it to him. Man, this is not good at all. When Brock is feeling it, good luck to you. Byron Brock Lesnar is a destroyer. It's that simple. The Beast is a physical specimen like we've never seen before and we'll never see again. Look, there's no need for long-winded analysis here. Brock Lesnar is a machine. I've said this before. You don't watch Brock Lesnar compete. You experience it. He might just be out, guys. I agree. He hasn't moved one bit. Oh, no. Lesnar's about to end this. F5. Oh, my. Brock Lesnar sent shockwaves through WWE like never before when he debuted on SmackDown in 2002. Lesnar became the youngest WWE champion in history when he beat The Rock at SummerSlam that year. This might be the end of the road for him, Byron. Well, if he can't get back to his feet, you're absolutely right. He's in a tough spot here, Corey. And if he doesn't get up, it's going to get a lot tougher. The Beast Incarnate put the sports entertainment world on notice when he returned to WWE in 2012. And the fate of the WWE World Heavyweight title hung in the balance when Lesnar won it again in 2014. Brock Lesnar is considered one of the greatest combat sports athletes in history. Nothing will compare to WrestleMania 30 when the Beast Incarnate became the one who broke The Undertaker's undefeated streak at the Showcase of the Immortals. Oh man, here we go. There is no way the table survives this. He's looking at it. Down with a face buster. 
game, set, match. This one is over. Look at this sadistic face on Lesnar. We've seen this look before, and it's never a good sign. When Brock Lesnar appears on WWE programming, you can guarantee somebody is going to get hurt. Seriously hurt. I don't know if there's anybody who can stop this man. Oh my, with the chair. I think that one finally broke the chair, Michael, when Brock is feeling it. Good luck to you. Back in from the floor. Here we go, Brock Lesnar is setting it up. The end is near for him. If you're a WWE superstar who signs a contract to German after German by Brock. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Oh man, I'll tell you, it didn't look any less brutal the second time around. Brace for impact, here it comes. The Beast Incarnate with it, with an F5! Bang! Tag team action. And from trying to screw him before this match even begins. You can't be surprised. This is what needs to be done to make an impact in the tag team division. And there's no way that this team is going to be ready to go here. And the other guys are still outside screaming at him. And they love this. Of course they love it. They're the ones left standing. Referee ought to just call this one. Yeah, I agree. Check out Chad Gable's offense. Jeez. Check out Chad Gable's offense. Chad Gable going for the cover. That wasn't even close to three. That's all right, Cole. enough can it and a kick out not even close on that one and we continue just brings him down with authority there that packed a punch And Jason Jordan forces his way out. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. near a three count. Tried for it early. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. It's 
Stay down, man. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Nothing nice about that move, guys. Chad Gable with the tag. Yeah, you can turn it up. Soldiers down. This could be it. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. Wow, I thought this was over. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh, somehow. He needs to change something fast, guys. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole. Look at this. Showing off his amazing vertical leap there. He goes for the quick pin attempt. And Chad Gable quickly kicks out. I don't think his opponent was expecting that. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. He lands a jarring forearm. He wants no part of the outside. Nice job by Johnny Gargano there. And he lands a nice counter. Jason Jordan is feeling really good about himself. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh, and he's one step ahead on that one. Teamwork at its best. Look at to catch him off guard. He's making a statement here with this attack. A truly punishing stretch. He's in the driver's seat now. Oh man, Tommaso Ciampa just doesn't even know where he is. Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Chopping down trees right and left. What a blow. The face starting to swell a bit. Jason Jordan in with the tag. Perfectly executed. Counters that one. Great move by Jason Jordan. That's what he was looking for, Michael. There's the cover. Can he do it? The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. It's going to be tough for him to fight back from this. Well, the first thing he needs to do is get back to his feet, which is clearly easier said than done. Ain't no stopping him now. It's safe to say he under... His shoulders are down. Two! What a tag team display.
Another exciting tag team match in the books. I got a feeling they're going to be talking about this win for a while. Folks, you're just tuning in. This is one of the greatest. What's up, guys? Show today, TG here, coming to you with another episode of WK18. You done first mode. Wow, that made no sense, but we're rolling with it. We are here for SmackDown Live, and we are here for the basically the semifinals of the SmackDown Six tournament. It has come down to three people. Chris Jericho guaranteed his spot in the finals last week in the Triple Threat match tonight. It is AJ Styles against Bobby Roode. And the winner will face Chris Jericho at Fastlane for the number one contendership to the WWE Championship at Clash of Champions. And of course, the finals of the SmackDown 6 tournament. That's what it represents here. But tonight, we also had some. <laughs> boy, boy, we saw it hot because Neville got attacked by Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, a war superstar, said, screw it. This guy screwed me out of the title, so I'm going to come to his show, and I'm going to beat the living shit out of here. And that is exactly what Buck Lesnar did. Not one, not two, not three, but four F5s, including one on the announce table, delivered to the WWE Champion Neville. Dear God, Buck Lesnar is unhinged. He is taking on anyone and everyone. He, he has, it's, it's a list. He has a list of people that he needs to get back. And at the top of that list is Neville. Because it was Neville that screwed Brock Lesnar out of a universal title at Roblox just a couple of weeks ago. And then after that, Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa somehow pulling over the pulling out for victory against American Alpha despite becoming tag team champ champions. The Usos attacking him before the match even side. Also we have tonight's Roger Sean vs. Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn picks up the win fed. The United States Champion is now building momentum. What is he going to do at Fast Aim? Well, I think we'll be finding out pretty soon. Rusev vs. Cassius Ono. Ono hasn't really gotten that many chances here on SmackDown. Kind of could say the same thing about Rusev, but Rusev has at least had a title match. He had a United States title match way back at Money in the Bank. And it was Cassius Ono with a victory here. Hideo Tame got eliminated from the SmackDown 6 tournament last week. He's taken on Cedric Alexander, who hasn't been featured on SmackDown for quite a bit now. And it's Cedric Alexander that picks up the victory. Wow. So here we are, the main event tonight. It is AJ Styles versus Bobby Roode. It is the semi-finals of the SmackDown 6 tournament. The winner will face Chris Jericho in the SmackDown 6 finals at Fast Lane. Who is headed to Fastlane? Is it AJ Styles? Is it basically SmackDown's newest recruit, Bobby Roode? Well, we will find out. And I am hearing what's up? What? Oh, I'm hearing that the SmackDown Live general manager will be making an appearance next week, and he or she will be talking about Brock Lesnar coming over to SmackDown and. Replying to what Triple H had to say on Raw this week. So we are just casually showing who our general managers are for the brands. Of course, they will not be that big of a deal in this universe mode. It is wrestlers first. It is for wrestling first. But it will be interesting to see who is in charge of SmackDown next week. But that's for next week. Tonight, AJ Styles. Bobby Roode, who's facing Chris Jericho at Fastlane. We might just see an instant classic. And I suspect we'll see more of the same here tonight. Pure excellence. And a win here would go a long way in proving he's as good as he says he is. Sounds like you're doubting him, Cole. Let me tell you something. You never want to doubt this guy. Trust me.
Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode making his way to the ring now. In all his gloriousness, Cole. that he certainly has his work cut out for him here tonight. Would you agree, Byron? Yeah, this isn't going to be easy for him, that's for sure. But he knew that when he signed up for this match. This will surely be a true mano a mano test. It's amazing. For more than 50 years, men and women have entered this ring all in the name of greatness to see who is truly the best. I think when it's all said and done, we'll be talking about this match for a long time. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. Gentlemen, I don't recall the last time I heard a Cohasset crowd this loud. They're definitely ready for this one. From behind. Goes behind. Has the headlock. The collar and elbow tie up in a battle for control here. Hits with the clothesline. You know when you take direct hits like that, it becomes hard to move. If you can't move, you can't win. AJ Styles got him there. Can he end it quickly? He got body on body there, but that's about it. He just powered out there, Cole. For some competitors, part of their strategy is to demean their opponent. A move like that says it all. He's starting to stagger a bit. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. And a lethal clothesline. Jeez, that could collapse a lung. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Check out Bobby Roode's offense. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron.
Just making his presence felt there. Back now inside the ring. Oh boy, he is rolling. Having some fun in the can he end it quickly? Doesn't show any signs of getting up here, guys. No, he's taking one heck of a beating, Michael. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. Bobby Roode's offense. His shoulders are down. He's not getting up. You can't like his chances right now. And the knee delivers. Not where he wants to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many matches when you're down. Oh, the reversal by AJ Styles. The human body can only absorb so much of that. To the outside, which will start the referee's count. Looks like he's starting to falter. He came into this match looking for a fight, and it looks like he found one. Oh, man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. At this point, they both look to be about evenly matched. Maybe I'd give him an edge, but not by much. That one fails to connect. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though. AJ Styles on the attack. AJ Styles got him there. He doesn't appear to be in a hurry to get up here. I just don't think he has it in him anymore. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. Oh, no, we've got a problem here, guys. No kidding. Who knows what will happen next? Look out! Ain't no stopping him now. Oh, going to the top. High risk. Whoa! AJ Styles got him there. I don't know what he has planned out here, but he must be mindful of the referee's count. AJ Styles with the offense. And this has got to be it. He's inflicting some serious pain here. for him there. And he'll likely pay for it here. Check out Bobby Roode's offense. Oh, no. Bobby Roode is on the attack. His shoulders are down.
Here it comes. He's got him. I don't think he should get up. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. I think AJ Styles is done playing. Lands this, and he is done. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Things have gotten worse for AJ Styles. I don't this should do it right there. Byron, he may be down for good. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Not after the beating he's taken. Showing very few signs of life. Here he goes for the win. Oh, and he's still down, Byron. Things definitely aren't looking very good for him right now. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. AJ Styles with a nice reversal. Taking him a while to get up here. I don't think he has anything left, Michael. Great offense by AJ Styles. He's teetering on the edge here. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. Will this be it? AJ Styles imposes his will again. He's getting after it while he has the energy. Smart move. If he sticks this, he is done. Few superstars are his dominant. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. There's the suplex. This might be the end of the road for him, Byron. Well, if he can't get back to his feet, you're absolutely right. And there's the counter. And he delivers a spirited elbow. Let's see that again. Definitely worth a second look. Bringing it back into the ring. He's not going to like this. Here we go. AJ Styles setting up. Bobby Roode with a kick. Here it comes. The glorious. The cover. And this one's history. What a win. They both gave it their all, but in the end, we were left with the best man standing. And it's matches like this one that makes SmackDown such a success. Thank you so much for joining us.
looks like Bobby Roode made the right decision to come to SmackDown Live because he is just one win away from a WWE Championship match at Clash of Champions. Wow, what a main event. What a main event. They both gave it their all in that ring. AJ Styles tried going for the phenomenal forearm reverse into the glorious DDT and it will be Bobby Roode versus Chris Jericho and the winner of course will get a WWE Championship match at Clash of Champions which will be pretty far away but that is still a guaranteed WWE title match in the future. Well that is it for Smackdown Live. Next week well we have the start of the build up to the finals of the Smackdown 6 tournament. We also will have the reveal of the Smackdown general manager as they will look to try and figure out just what is going on between Raw and Smackdown and the uncontrollable Brock Lesnar. Uh, so, yeah, I've been Shows 92G. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for women's wrestling because it's the quarterfinals. They start tomorrow. And thanks for watching.